This is the Continental Supersports. The fastest, most outlandish car Bentley has ever made. Compared to the GT version, it's been lightened. Despite the fact that the brief shot you will see during the Forza Vista part is the only thing you will see from the interior, be aware that the rear seat has been replaced with air. The sofas up front are now racing buckets, trimmed in the Duke of Westminster's smoking jacket. And there is carbon fiber on the dash rather than walnut. The result is dramatic, because that car weighs just two and a quarter tons. About the same as a three-bedroom terraced house. Still, it's not like there isn't enough power to deal with the bulk. It has the same engine as before, a 6-liter twin-turbo W12, but now it produces 710 horsepowers. The result is 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds. In the track test part, you'll be able to see the way that car changes direction. Indeed, even if we've got an automatic gearbox, air conditioning, satellite navigation, and a really quiet car, it would just be like a normal Bentley. But this car is like an elephant with the reflexes of a water boatman. In fact, to make the Bentley a racetrack screamer, it's been fitted with carbon ceramic discs, new suspension bushes and different anti-roll bars. Through when I say different, I mean of course, enormous. But if I wanted to spend £230,000 on a speedboat, I'd buy something that was designed to be a speedboat in the first place. In short, I'd buy an Aston Martin DBS. I love you